Item Number SCP-2107 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-2107 are to be stored in a CNSI containment locker at Site-19. Any number of instances may be moved to a refrigerated CNSI unit in advance of experimental trials. Mobile Containment Task Force Data-61 carbonation-based lifeforms, is responsible for coordinating routine screenings for new instances of SCP-2107 at retail venues, which are considered probable locations for appearance. Newly discovered instances are to be acquired for conventional methods when possible. For larger quantities, or in cases where a retailer proprietor is deemed likely to become problematic, Acquisition Protocol 0014 Covert Theft 0015 Overt Theft and 0047 Impersonation of Federal Agency may be utilized with authorization from Staff with Security Clearance 3-2107 or higher. Individuals exposed to the anomalous properties of SCP-2107 are to be treated with Class A amnestics and remitted to the nearest civilian hospital for any medical care rendered necessary following exposure. Description. SCP-2107 designates a soft drink brand known as Diet Ghost, which displays anomalous properties when imbibed. SCP-2107 has to date only been encountered packaged by the individual can. Within three to seven minutes of ingestion, subjects classified SCP-2107-A begin to experience paranormal activity that most often fall within the colloquial expectations of an individual being haunted by a ghost or other paranormal entity. The effect continues until an as-of-yet undetermined point in the breakdown of SCP-2107 within the subject's body, approximately one to three hours after ingestion. Research has confirmed that the intensity of the haunting effect, herein defined by the quantity of individual paranormal facets, the probability of physical harm, and the severity of said harm is directly proportional to the quantity of SCP-2107 imbibed. SCP-2107 cans are the traditional variety used for soft drinks, being uniform in design and non-anomalous in composition and behavior. The can features a light blue background with the Diet Ghost logo prominently featured. The catchphrase, Scare Your Thirst, appears beneath the logo. Most instances also have a sticker on the can with the text, Made with Natural Ghost, printed on it. It is unclear if cans lacking the sticker were distributed this way, or if the sticker was removed before acquisition. The cans bear no nutritional information. The liquid contents are non-anomalous in chemical composition and within normal parameters for a traditional diet soft drink. Discovery. Initial discovery occurred on May 13, 2012 when seven cans of SCP-2107 were purchased by Foundation personnel at a local supermarket in during a routine restocking of Site-19's recreational facilities. The partial remains of a senior maintenance assistant at Site-19 were found inside the van requisitioned from Site-19's vehicle pool for the purpose of the trip. The junior maintenance assistant, who had been assigned with for the restocking duty, had gone back into the supermarket after having forgotten to procure a copy of the receipt of purchase for Foundation records. According to account, was alone for no longer than approximately five minutes. A majority of discoveries have occurred in convenience stores, with acquisitions from supermarkets and restaurants accounting for nearly all additional cases. Employees of retail locations where instances have been discovered have professed no prior knowledge of the product's existence, and records of inventory acquisition have shown no references to SCP-2107. SCP-2107 has now been recovered from retailers in 37 states and two Canadian provinces. Production and distribution of SCP-2107 is currently under investigation. SCP-2107 Abridged Experiment Logs Note, each experiment was carried out using 1D-Class personnel, isolated in an SHA containment cell with closed-circuit digital recording. Unless otherwise specified, 
No individual D-Class subject is used for more than one trial. Extraneous, insubstantial, and redundant results have been omitted for brevity. A full version may be found in the SCP-2107 Extended Report. Trial Number Quantity of SCP-2107 ingested milliliter. Result Trial Number 01 30 milliliters. Duration of trial was 1 hour 12 minutes. Subject reported audio-visual phenomena, including hearing her name spoken softly, shadowy figures at the edges of her vision, and a flickering of the lights within the containment chamber that was not corroborated by the recorded footage. Debriefing revealed the subject to have enjoyed the experience overall. Subject described the taste of SCP-2107 as bland but refreshing. Trial Number 06 90 ml. Subject experienced intermittent activity, similar to the phenomena in previous experiments for over an hour, before new effects presented. At 1 hour 20 minutes, the subject began to experience moderate bleeding from the nose without identifiable physical cause. Simultaneously, the recording equipment began to encounter interference of a magnetic nature that lasted for two minutes. This is noted as the first instance where activity was observable by non-SCP-2107-A sources and Foundation trials. The bleeding continued unabated for several minutes, causing severe distress to the subject. All effects ceased at 1 hour 28 minutes. Trial Number 07 90 ml. Trial begins with activity patterns identical to those described by the subject in Trial 01. Subject's nose began to bleed at the 19-minute mark. At 23 minutes, subject began emesis due to a combination of distress and nausea caused by the presence of their own blood. This is evaluated to be purely physiological in nature and non-anomalous. Following emesis, a majority of the activity ceased. Subject reported still having intermittent hallucinations in his peripheral vision until 48 minutes. Trial Number 14 150 ml. Subject began to experience phenomena similar to previous trials at 2 minutes, which rapidly increased in intensity. The lights in the cell are seen to flicker briefly at 16 minutes by both the subject and supervising personnel. Subject reported the feeling of being lifted off the ground during this effect, but this is not visible in the footage. Quantity of activity is approximate to previous trials but level of intensity is significantly higher, as reported by subject. Effects began to subside at 54 minutes, and had ceased entirely at 59 minutes. Subject observed taste as average, but expressed difficulty in elaborating upon this description. Trial Number 31 270 ml. Subject experienced no activity until 31 minutes, at which point all electronics within a 10-meter radius failed for approximately 17 seconds. When power returned, subject had fallen to the ground unconscious, and the trial was ended. Personnel entered the containment cell and confirmed the subject had expired. Upon autopsy, subject's body was found to be void of most major internal organs. No incision marks or signs of trauma were present. Note. Future experiments are suspended without authorization from Staff with Security Clearance 4 2107. Addendum December 27, 2014. Area Personnel have encountered and acquired a previously undiscovered packaging variant. Fifteen cans were produced by a vending machine in Area Cafeteria. When the machine was opened for further inspection, no anomalous properties were discovered. These new instances of SCP-2107 feature changes to the design of the background, which now features white silhouettes of tombstones, cats, and cartoonish ghosts interspersed between iterations of the logo. Of note is the addition of new stickers to the can in the same font as the catchphrase text. These stickers include new promotional phrases, including, from the makers of Ghost, 100% more spooky, Scare to Spaction Guaranteed, and Your Old Favor is Back. All instances of SCP-2107 from Area are en route to Site-19 for containment and research trials to confirm 
whether their contents produced the same anomalous activity as previously recorded instances. The addition of vending machines to the list of prominent locations is under investigation, with revisions to object class and special containment procedures awaiting approval.